well, making another load delivery to the scrapping warehouse. And on the truck today, I got little various pieces of miscellaneous scrap, including a couple of exercise machines. And those are garage sale fillers, or that's what I call them, because people had them for sale at garage sales, and nobody bought them, and they were out by the curb. Out by the curb and ready for me, the junk man, to come and take away. All right, let's get on with our day. Pulled in here into the warehouse. Hello, YouTube. Nope. Let's get this day started. Got a little morning load going here. Now time to get into the kingdom. <laughs> this, this lock is kind of a brand new one. It's already messed up. Look at that. Now yesterday when I was out looking for scrap I found four gas bottles. Well, a couple of them were attached to some barbecues and out of the four one of them is full. So these ones are empty. I'll just scrap them just how they are because look at all the yards I go to actually take these. I'm not going to bother taking that little brass thing off. I'm uh I'm too much of a weenie. I don't want to, uh, I don't know. I don't want something bad to happen. I've, they're on, they're really good. I've tried to take like a wrench to them and, uh, yeah, I'll, have, I'll leave them alone unless I can find a decent YouTube video or a suggestion of how to take it off and do it safely. And one of them's full. So, actually, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to use that for my barbecue. I've never had to buy uh, this kind of gas. I'm going to save a lot of money that way. Barbecue for free all summer long. I mean, that's got to be like the tenth bottle of gas. I've actually given a couple of them away to my neighbor. You know, and, uh, it gives me some firewood for the fire pit in my backyard. Let's me park one of my trucks in his driveway sometime, so there you go. Better than money, I suppose, right? Well, looks like this place is getting pretty full. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm about that far. I got both exercise machines in the warehouse here. People never even use these darn things. This thing's like got hardly any wear and tear on it. But it is broken. I mean, they they tore them apart, I guess, to get them out of the house. I think they were both in the basement. <clears throat> yeah. But, uh, yeah, the, this warehouse, I mean, <laughs> after a week and a half, I already got the sucker filled. Uh, the only way to get more stuff in here is to start going up. And, uh, well, there's a limit to that. I'm allowed to put stuff outside, too, so. But I really don't want to put too much out here because, well, then you're inviting theft. Even though not many people can get in here. If people see something interesting and stuff like that, and it's outside and there's no one around, well, yeah. <laughs> and I got the rest of this stuff to... Well, toss in here. And, uh, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to heap it on top here. Yeah. I got so much stuff over here, I wanted to show, uh, how my copper pile was going, but maybe in another video, maybe in the next one, I'll have the, some of this stuff moved out of the way. My big moving van isn't working. I uh, can't get the thing started. I don't know if it's a distributor or, or what, so I'm probably going to have to rent a U-Haul. 
or some rental vehicle to uh, to get this out of here because there's about uh, I don't know what you guys would say but probably about 15 tons of steel in here and probably about one one and a half tons of aluminum clean aluminum so yeah I've, I've amassed quite a pile in just a short amount of time Not a few tires here but they're for myself I'm not gonna get rid of them you know going to the junkyard you uh you encounter nails and screws and stuff like that all the time especially like sidewall punctures are devastating you can't even fix that okay you cut the wire on this Wires were safe. It's worth saving. This is a uh, oh, aluminum. Oh, pretty good find. And I got a bag of cans here. Cans? I'm just saying, cans are a pain in the butt. Because they bring about bees and bugs and stuff like that. You know, ants. Pop cans, beer cans. Toss that right there. I mean, I don't have a special place for it yet. What I need is like a bin, or maybe I'll take some of that wood and build like a large bin that can hold a tremendous amount of cans, like you know, four or five hundred pounds of cans, and uh, <clears throat> they'll help solve that problem. And this fan right here, this could be, I don't know, maybe this could be peak life. One way of finding out, right? I have an inverter in my uh, truck. 120 volt inverter, so when I find things on the street, I'm really curious, I just plug it in on the 120 volt inverter and uh, go at it that way. I got so much stuff. I mean, I've only had this place not even two weeks. It's already filled just about. working and you know what I say my model is free over good because uh, it's a little gnarly yeah it's kind of a little dirty I mean I don't know if you'd be able to sell it at a flea market or garage sale but hey keep it until it stops working right and then when it stops working in the pile it goes. So I'm a winner both ways, right? And I just got this. Oh, sucker. It's, uh, it's right in here. Oh, there's a price tag on there. I didn't see the five bucks. Yeah. Must have been like a garage sale failure because they found it out by the curb. We didn't want it even for five bucks. A couple more buckets. Found these. They always come in handy, so they're always a winner. Especially if you need them Good for separating stuff. Yep. I know. Kind of like watching paint dry right watching a scrapping video it's like okay the stuff doesn't do anything it just stays there it's inanimate objects so a lot of these uh, people that make youtube videos about scrapping you know ends up uh you know they turn into like vlogs and uh then it starts becoming more about them which is i guess the only the only avenue to keep it you have to give your uh, channel some personality i guess suppose I don't know. I don't know enough about it. I know how to scrap. I do know that. I mean, you guys can all see that. I do know how to scrap. Not a problem there. Making the video interesting, that's where my challenge is at. Keep it interesting. Maybe I'll get some subscribers. Maybe some people might like it. I don't know.
just an experiment so far. Okay, on to the next segment.